In this video I'm going to show you how to attach the lace to the frame. So I've got a needle and thread and I'm using number 10 thread, the same thread as I used to make the chain. So what I'm going to do I lay out the frame and now I'm going to I'm going to slip the needle under the frame and under the chain and attach it and now I'm going to go around and so the lace in place. I'm doing it this way because the lace is stretched on the background cloth. If I undo the lace and try to fit it into the frame, it'll just be a mess because it'll be very hard to line up the shape with the chain. So this way, I'm sure that the lace is in the right place. and then it'll be ready for the next step. When you're attaching the lace to the frame you'll notice that the lace will look smaller than the frame. That is because the crochet shrinks on itself without support. So what you have to do is stretch the lace onto the frame. So. You attach it, you just go on sewing the background on and stretching it as you go and stretching the lace as you go along. So even though it looks as though it could be difficult, it's not really. As you see, it stretches to fit the frame because its shape was based on the frame. If you look here, you can see there's like a big gap between the frame and the lace, but the lace will stretch and fill the frame. So I've sewn the lace onto the frame and now I need to release it. This is the best part because you're, you're turning your work into a proper piece of lace by doing this. So I turn it round and I cut the thread that holds the lace down. One of these thread cutters is really handy because it stops you from cutting into the material with a pair of scissors, but a pair of scissors will do.
So now as you can see you've got a proper piece of lace and the tension's gone on the wing. And what we're going to do now is edge that. I've used a soft lilac number 10 thread and I've used a number 1.5 millimeter hook to finish off the edge. So to do that what I do so what I do is I make single crochet around the edge of the metal of the frame and around the edge that I made in the crochet. So I tightly fill each space with single crochet. If you look here it doesn't look if you look here the chain doesn't meet the metal but you persevere and fill the gap and the chain will tighten up and join the metal So you just go round, filling the space with single crochet until you have the whole wing covered. So here are the wings finished. I'm going to be adding decorations to the tips of the wings but that's for another video. And my next step now is to take an ordinary bangle and to cover it, this will hold it all together in the end and it will be covered with flowers.